underwater island wildlife. Island, magical and friendly place, also known as a Green Isle, situated separately quite away from the rest of the continent. It remains oasis of charm and undisturbed beauty in fast-moving forward civilization. The island has amazingly stunning background with crisscross trenches filled in bosom surrounded by rough cliffs as if it would be a defense wall what causes that only a few people might be left impassive. Ireland belongs to archipelago of British islands and its third biggest European island. From north and west is being washed by Atlantic Ocean. In turn, from southern east, Ireland is separated from United Kingdom by Irish Sea. The feature of climate is identified as a temperate and maritime. It is so because of influence of massive airflow running through Atlantic Ocean from southern west towards Irish west coast. Short after submerged in cold but clear water, there's hidden a stunning view. We watch a big colony of coral. Latin name for it is Ansimonium digitatium. It's a soft colonial coral which creates a fleshy and irregular shapes, also called dead man fingers. It's being seen in few different colors mainly in yellow, orange and grey. This fish is called a small spotted catcher, also known as lesser spotted dogfish. Its Latin name is Signorinus canicula. Its length is up to 1 meter and it can weigh more than 2 kg. The dogfish is a shallow water shark with a slender shaped body with a blunt head. The two dorsal fins are located towards the tail end of the body. The texture of their skin is rough, similar to coarseness of sandpaper. Saying bye to dogfish and preparing to seek another resident of ocean waters, we are accompanied by gorgeous underwater landscapes. There he is! The largest species of crab in European waters. Its Latin name is Maya squinado, commonly known as European spider crab. He is not juicy and eats almost everything, like crustaceans, seaweeds, ammonoids, and even sea urchins. Our inseparable companions are fishes, these lesser and those bigger ones. They are looking on us curiously.
in the ocean, there's not only wildlife to see, but also we can see amazing structures of bottom, natural rock tunnels, caverns and caves. Here is Chrysaura hisostella, also known as the compass jellyfish. It's a very common species of jellyfish that lives in coastal waters of the Atlantic and Mediterranean, including near the United Kingdom. It has a diameter of up to 30 cm. Pay attention how deftly she moves, like a good dancer. We want to introduce to you a guardian of blue depth, but first we need to search for him. There he walks. It's Homarus gamarus, known as the European lobster. The first pair of limbs are armed with a large, asymmetrical pair of claws. The larger one is the crusher and has rounded nodules used for crushing prey. The other is the cutter, which has sharp inner edges and is used for holding or tearing the prey. Usually, the left claw is the crusher and the right is the cutter. Adult lobster can move with speed up to 23 km per hour. Parablenius gatorugine, known as the Tompot Blenny. Found on rocky coast, on lower shore and in sublittoral zone. Impressive and colorful Blenny. Necora puber, known as the velvet swimming crab. The body is coated with short hairs, giving the animal a velvety texture, hence the common name. The velvet crab lives on rocky bottoms from shoreline to a depth of about 65 meters. The last pair of limbs are flattened to facilitate swimming. Vispira volutaconis, known as the twin fan worm, a colonial sedentary tube fan worm with a C-shaped pale or white crown of tentacles. Tentacles are arranged in interlocking spiral or whorls, usually with one or more paired composite eyes scattered on their outer surface. Tube composed of mud outer layer. The fan usually retracts into tube when approached. The opening of the tube is vent pinched at the middle. It is residing in rock crevices in the sublittoral. That beautiful fish is Labrus mixtus, known as uh, Cucuras. It's a medium-sized ras living in rocky areas in Atlantic waters. The male and female have different coloration. The male coloration changes during the breeding season. At the start the head is blue with a blue body and orange pattern and blue tail. The body coloration gradually changes to an orange head and body with a blue pattern that may is more pronounced at the head.
Cancer Pagurus, commonly known as the edible crab or brown crab. Brown crab is a nocturnal predator, targeting a range of mollocks and crustaceans. The grey seal, Halicoerus gripus, is found on both shores of North Atlantic Ocean. Grey seals lead aquatic and land life. When on land, they are heavy and unwieldy. In water, seals are great swimmers. They are fast, agile and able to various acrobatics. The grey seal is listed as a protected species. The European congers are gourmand nocturnal predators. They eat a lot and grow fast. European congers have a common length of 150 cm, a maximum length of 3 meters, and weigh up to 110 kg, making them the largest eels in the world. European congers have a reputation of horrifying creatures who attack scuba divers. They have strong jaws and teeth, but in fact they are calm and bashful. To take a look on the least animals living in the ocean, we need to look in every nook and cranny. There might be much more life. This is Palaemon serratus, also called the common prawn. It's a species of shrimp found in the Atlantic Ocean. This is what is served in our tables in good restaurants. The depth of ocean, besides of wildlife, amazing structures of bottom and caves, has to offer something more for underwater visitors. There are thousands of shipwrecks which the history made stuck on the bottom forever. There are the ones easy to dive and the others lying in deep dark and rough water. One of many remains the tomb for of mariners. For the 27 crew still on patrol, may they rest in peace. Here lies the wreck of submarine UC-42. This wreck site is a grave. Please respect as such. We are slowly approaching to the end of our adventure. But before we ascend to the surface, we have a sherry on the top. A widely living dolphin arrived to say hello and have some fun. I think it's one of the most incredible moments of my life. See the wild dolphin during dive is amazing feeling. So it's the end of our underwater journey. Hope you have spent a good time watching the movie.
This film is dedicated to my bodies. I would like to thank scuba divers who had to keep an eye on the operator each time he saw something interesting to record. It's a footage gathered during two years of filming. Let this movie make you moved buddies and have a great memories across Diamond Rocks, Connemara, Bridge of Ross, Bullock Harbor, Dulin Pier, the Aran Islands, Baltimore, Kinsale, Ringhadi and Ratlin Island.